Welcome back to the Chell Sweets Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this cute Thanksgiving turkey. The layers are made with a pumpkin cake batter, which has been colored yellow, orange, and red with gel food coloring. Evenly distribute spoonfuls of each color into 7 inch pans and then wrap on the counter to help the batter settle. Drag an offset spatula or knife through the batter both horizontally and vertically. Repeat this pattern in all of your cake layers. Once the layers are fully swirled, bake in a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. Once the layers are baked, chill in the freezer for about 30 minutes. Next, stack and frost the layers using a milk chocolate ganache. The recipe for these cake layers and for the ganache is up on chillsweets.com. Spread an even layer of ganache across each cake layer using an offset spatula. Once all of the cake layers are stacked, apply a thick layer of ganache to the outside of the cake. Begin at the top and then work your way down the sides. Spread the frosting around the cake with an offset spatula and then smooth further with a bench scraper. Once the sides are nice and smooth, clean up the cake base with a wet paper towel and then smooth the top of the cake using a small offset spatula. Using a cardboard template roughly 4 inches long, cut out red, orange, and yellow fondant feathers. Set aside to dry. Cut out 4 large feathers of each color. These need to be made at least one day in advance so they can dry up and be sturdy enough to stand up on the cake. Repeat the same process with a smaller 2 inch feather template. Prepare the beak and the feet of the turkey using some orange fondant. Once shaped, use some red fondant to make the gobble. I also used a bit of black and white fondant to make the eyes. Place your remaining ganache into a piping bag and add it onto the fondant details to secure them to the cake. If you're having trouble keeping your beak in place, use a toothpick to secure it. Once all the facial features are on, pipe wings onto the sides of the cake. Smooth them using a small offset spatula. Then it's time to begin adding the feathers. Starting in the center of the back of the cake, add large feathers into a fan-like pattern. Trim the ends of the feathers as needed to get them to fit into place. Place one large feather over the seam of the three feathers you started with. Next, create a smaller fan of feathers using the smaller cutouts. Once those are in place, slice a slit on top of the cake about two-thirds back. Gently push the small feathers into this slit so that only about an inch and a half shows. Repeat this process with a second layer of your smaller feathers, but let them stick out slightly higher. And just like that, our turkey cake is complete. And then all that's left to do is slice in and enjoy this wonderful combination of chocolate and pumpkin. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons below. Hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving and thanks for stopping by.